Welcome to Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I have the Camacho Diploma. This is a 7x48 Churchill, rated at medium to full. I've had it for a little over a month. I got it from Cigar Bid for $3.80 each. Love it when the foot bang comes off easily. I did a, what I call, a deep V cut. And that's using this Calibri. It makes a deep, very deep V cut. Like I think I've said before, the only problem I have with this sometimes is that you gotta put it, the cigar a little bit further in your mouth so you don't have leakage around those deep cuts. But on the plus side, it does cut into the uh, binder and filler and of course the cap. Perfect draw, easy draw. It's nice too. Kind of a mm, rich cocoa type of uh, taste to it. Sweet, barnyardy. That's nice too. So let's get this thing going. So I bought this. Um, I bid on it and won it. Pretty good price, I think. Uh, right about after the Cigar Mageddon uh, news came down, so I figured, you know, I better go on a little bit of a buying spree. And I hadn't tried these before. I had, I got me a bunch of uh, Camacho Corojos, which I love. So I figured, eh, well, I'll give this a shot. Little did I know, until about 10 minutes ago, this cigar has been uh, discontinued. Based on that, I almost scrapped the idea of doing a review altogether, but there's still a lot of them available out there, it looks like. On Cigars International's uh, website, every size is available at half price or less than half price. So that tells me that rumor from Half Wheel that is discontinued is probably true, and that was over a year ago. Very nice start so far. Nice aroma, a little bit of a bite to it. When I say that, what it means is I can feel the sting inside my sinuses. But flavor-wise, it's pretty nice. So, yeah, this is the, uh, the, the, a lot of these Camachos now, I think all of them have this really cool band, new artwork, pretty large bands too. This wrapper is the Ecuador Habano 2000. The binder is Corojo, which I like that. It's made in Honduras. Cigar International has this to say about it. Wow. Dressed in a richly scented Ecuador Habano 2000 wrapper, this gorgeous handmade is head of the class. Not enough, apparently. On the inside, a Corojo binder and a well-chosen blend of Honduran and Dominican long fillers marry perfectly. The draw is consistent, the burn is even, and the entire experience is deliciously complex. Full-bodied and full-flavored, you can anticipate int intense notes of sweet cocoa and spice woven around a hearty core. So far, I would agree with that. So I'm taking a suggestion from a regular uh, commenter. I do appreciate all the comments. I try to respond to every one of them. And um, so on one of my last videos, I used uh, some tin cup whiskey. And Tim mentioned this, Knob Creek bourbon. So I figured, why not? Give it a shot. I usually have this with the old fashions. I don't know if I've ever had a, dr a straight, although some of my ice is melting. I want it too diluted. There, that's a pretty healthy supply right there, I think. More than enough. So, yes, yeah, Cigars International said full body. I don't know. Uh, they also mentioned that it's medium to full strength, so we shall see. Cigar, not the uh, bourbon. Great performer so far. Kind of interesting aroma there, kind of a sweetness to it. Great draw, great smoke output. Starting to warm up to the size Churchill. Um, it's a smaller ring gauge, which I like, but not too small. Plenty of wrapper, long length, give you plenty of time to smoke it. This one could take a while.
Well, let's try this uh, bourbon. Like I said, I don't know if I've ever had it straight before. That is nice. It went in a lot smoother than I thought. Um, first, I was like, did I water this down too much? But there was no water, it's just the ice cubes in there. Because I almost thought about shooting a little bit of water in there. But I wasn't sure if I should do that with bourbon. I probably could. But instead, I just used ice, which will dilute it a little bit. It didn't dilute it that quickly. Smooth going in, a little bit of burn on going down. Nice aroma, nice flavor. Ah, I tell you. I've enjoyed thoroughly uh, getting into higher quality spirits. Uh, don't drink beer as much anymore as I used to. But uh, these spirits, though, it's good stuff. I went to a bourbon tasting last week, and they had four bourbons lined, or whiskeys. Well, it was a bourbon tasting, but one of them was, was a tin cup, which doesn't really list itself, I don't think, as a bourbon. So that was kind of odd having that one in the mix. And... Um, yeah, that was definitely interesting. That was that was pretty cool. So, hmm, keep getting this nice foot smell off of this foot smoke smell. So I'm gonna let this go a little bit. See what I think. You can still get them, discontinued, but you know they're still to, to be had out there. So get them all you can. About 40 minutes into this Camacho Diploma, performing great. Um, the ash doesn't stay on very long, and um, I was afraid that it was going to go out a couple times because it all fell off, but no, no relights needed. Um, performing terrific. Right now, I'm in the middle or so. There's a little bit of more harshness to it. I'm feeling a little bit of scratchiness on the throat, and which is odd because, um, especially when you're drinking something like whiskey or bourbon, it usually helps coat the throat. That's gone. And um, let's see. Pretty nice retro hail there. I'm getting some different flavors through there, and that's the main reason why I do it. Don't do it very often. A couple, two, three times per cigar. Depends if I'm trying to pick something up, but just don't want to overdo it. Don't want to torch my sinuses. There's a little bit of a sting in there, but this is really putting off a nice aroma. I assume it's probably that Corojo binder that's doing that in there, and maybe the Habana wrapper too, but um, big old band is going to have to come off here pretty soon. Don't smoke the bands. Don't even get them warm to the point of burning, I should say. You can get them warm because getting them warm helps loosen up the glue, which helps take off the band. Let's just do it live on camera. Why not? Yeah, you can see that glue holding it in there, but no, it came off perfectly. No damage to the band or to the wrapper. And yeah, these things are pretty big. So yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. A little bit of a little bit of scratchiness, but uh, can't complain overall. So let's keep going. I need to find me a new cocktail. Well, an hour and a half into this Camacho Diploma, I'm going to go ahead and end the review here. I don't see really much changes going on. Um, that scratchiness is still kind of there, you know, even with uh, with that bourbon, which I've replaced with uh, something a little cooler and more refreshing, a gin and tonic, and a little plug for Colorado Company. This is Woody Creek Gin. Woody Creek is a place where Hunter Thompson used to hang out when he was alive. And this is uh, this Woody Creek area is near Aspen. Been there, been to the the uh, lounge, the Woody Creek Tavern, I think it's called, where he used to hang out, sit there in the bar all the time, and just sit there and drink. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got this because <laughs> if you remember uh, Hunter Thompson, when uh, Hunter S. Thompson, when he died, he had his ashes shot out of a cannon, I think. <laughs> and this is uh, supposedly the ingredients grown for this, the grain or whatever is grown downwind from. An area where they say possibly his ashes may have affected the, <laughs> maybe infused into the uh, stuff made to make this. Who knows? Either way, it's pretty good stuff. Local company. Doubt you have it where you are unless you're in Colorado. I don't know what their distri distribution's like. So, either way, makes for a great, great gin and tonic. 
which I have a comment about that. Drinking and smoking cigars. I usually never do it. Lately I have been just to try different things. But um, the only problem I have with drinking any kind of alcohol, especially something like that, with some strength to it, is that uh, it's hard for me to give you an accurate representation of the strength of the cigar. Uh, because uh, I'm, I think I can sort of tell what, how much is what I'm feeling a cigar, how much I'm feeling is booze, but I don't know. So uh, let's get to it. Appearance, um, great looking band, big band, obviously the big Camacho bands. The wrapper is looks really nice, holding together good. The cigar itself, After about the halfway point, see what I had to do to get that amount of smoke? I had to do some work to it. So the smoke output's kind of, it's it's a little uh, stingier with it, and the burn line is a little, getting a little wonky there. But overall though, the burn aroma, the aroma's great. Love the aroma. Fairly smooth flavor, just that little scratchiness and feeling here that I, I don't really like, but it's not an ashy flavor. It's, it's no bitterness. It's been a pretty nice cigar overall. Uh, that covers flavor too, I guess. Strength, I would say medium to full, but who knows, you know? That's uh, Knob Creek and gin. I don't know. Anyway, that might be speaking to it. Uh, strength, just said it. Overall, I rated this a 94. That's based on, <clears throat> which to a lot of people, 94. Holy mackerel, that's a high score. For me, we know that, well, it's average. <laughs> but uh, the the scratchiness kind of is the reason why I marked it down a little bit. The <clears throat> performance here in middle point down, having to really work to get some smoke. See, that's what I'm talking about. But um, this has been an enjoyable cigar regardless. If you can get your hands on them, probably cheap on Cigar Bid or Cigar International. I looked at another site and it wasn't really uh, that great of a deal. So look around. I think they're all in closeout. Well, in some places anyway. So this has been the Camacho Diploma. I'm Chris Stogie Palace. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the comments, downloads, and thumbs and up, that is. And um, thanks for watching. See you later.